Okay, so now how to extract data? It's a very important question. Edouard, I cannot access to my data. And yes, you can. You have seven steps and I'm going to tell you. I always found a way to get the data. And the first one is to be very clear. What do you need exactly? Because most of the time I see, I've seen people, oh, Edouard, I need this. I need, but what do you need exactly? Give me an example. So I really recommend you to write, to create an Excel spreadsheet with an example. Oh, oh, this is exactly what I want with the name of the colon exactly like in the IT system if you know them. Okay, so what is the first right you need? What is the goal? What is the impact? Who is responsible? Create a model, identify the key data. Okay, and you, it's very important to clarify who needs what. Is it only for you? Is it, only, is it for different people in the company? For example, this is an example for forecasting. The CEO just want the, the global forecast when the, the production they need per line of production and the logistics they need per DC and logistics sector. So you have to be very, very specific on exactly what do you want with a real example. Okay. And most of the time you are not. How many, how many do you want weekly, daily, monthly, annually, quarterly? Do you need the last six months, 12 months? You need quantity, you need dollars, you need both. Be very specific of what you want. I'm, I'm going to give you an example with my own Excel after. Then when you know what you want, you need to identify the key person. And the key person is very different in the company. Most of the time, it's someone working in IT. Uh, it's a key user or it could be also a consultant working for this company for a while. Most of the time, they have a lot of experience, they have a lot of information in their head, <laughs> but they are poorly recognized. Yeah, in the company, people come to them when there is a problem, when it's urgent, they receive a lot of stress. And yeah, and if you do a BF the same, you, you, it's going to be a challenge for you. So the first thing you have to realize is first identify this key person. And at one point I was this key person <laughs> and realize that, yeah, just be nice with this, this person. Okay. And uh, don't use them only when you need in a very, uh, urgent way because everything is urgent. Try to build a long-term relationship and really highlight this person on your project if you, uh, if you have help. Because most of the time I feel they are, they are not really uh, seen as uh, uh, with the value they have on, on the company. So really <laughs> identify this key person. And if there is not, you can ask maybe to your manager to recruit a consultant to help you understand what's going on in the IT system if this is really a bad situation. Okay. Then you need to identify after the person, this person will help you to identify what is the data source? What are the data different sources? And always go back to the source. Okay. Don't take uh, like if you have uh, the sources in the ERP, really try to focus in the ERP system or the WMS warehouse management system like Manhattan or the TMS transport management system, whatever you use, you could be directly in the cloud. Many companies are moving now to the cloud because it's easier, it's more efficient, it's more accessible as well. So you just need to have also the right access, uh, but it's much easier to navigate into the cloud than in a very old uh, system with old interface. Uh, you can have also classic database. You can also access to BI directly, such as Power BI, ClickView or Tableau. Very useful, very uh, powerful now. And you can also have files, files in the, in the SharePoint, in the share folder. At the end, my, my recommendation is try not to change the format and take it from the source. Okay. If sometimes you have an Excel file, but there are people will change the value or they're not up to date. You don't really know when was the last time uh, they refreshed the data. So try always to find the source <laughs> like with water, uh, the fresh uh, water is coming from the source. Okay. Then the fourth one is to do a first manual extraction. Okay. You don't need to automate everything. Just do it manually with someone who can help you. Maybe for example, on SAP, okay, I'm going to take the table SAP MRD. I can only give you all the table in SAP Oracle or Netsuite because there are so many <laughs> that are very different uh, by version. But at the end, my recommendation is do it manually, understand the format and you say, okay, this is not exactly what I want, or I don't need this colon, or there is a problem with the format. And that will help you also to uh, re really realize this is really what I need or do I need something else? Okay, so do it manually. And once it's working, standardize and automate. It could be like you can automate the extraction 
You can also do it in Excel if you don't have the budget. I'm using a lot Power Query. And the best is not to change the data source and to change directly into Excel with Power Query. <laughs> I'm going to talk about uh, Power Query later. You can also ask to IT to create what we call a query. Uh, like, for example, in SAP, it's just an example, SQ01. It will, they will create an, an automatic table with the information you need. Uh, with specific rules and you don't have to do anything. It could be like a specific IT development. It could be an automatic batch. It could be the creation of a data lake. There is many, many options. And one more time, the person, the key person who knows the data, they can help you. Uh, th th this person can help you to really identify what is the best solution to make it standardized and automate. Then you don't have to manipulate data every single day that you need this data. Okay. Once you have this, great. You need to formalize the process. Make sure you map the data. Where is the data? Everything you said before has to be in a process somewhere accessible to everyone. And you have to train different people and, and you need to define clear responsibilities to define who is responsible to update the data, to refresh. For example, in my team, I had always two people uh, who were responsible to uh, update the report. And when someone was on holidays, the other one was doing it. Very important because many companies, they reinvent uh, the wheel because there is no process and you have to go from the beginning and by doing this you will also secure your supply chain and I also like to record videos for, so for example there is a tool called Loom then you can record your screen you can show exactly where you click on the button and it's very very efficient okay and the last one don't forget the last one reward the key person you have to reward the person who helped you from IT, the consultant, and thank him publicly by email, give him a, a croissant, a, a chocolatine, and send, him, send a private email also to the manager of this person. I think it's something I've, I've been doing and it's very, uh, I think, powerful and uh, rewarding. And the people I was working, they got salary increase or even promotion. And this is for me a win-win. You know, you create this long-term relationship with people that really help you. You're not just using them. And uh, that's the, I think that's the way to create a positive dynamic uh, between you, supply chain operations, and the people responsible for data. So trust me, uh, this is always possible to find a way with data. You have to uh, go straight to the point. You have to identify the right person and be very uh, strict into the way you do it. And at the end, you will have the data you need to go further with us. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you want to really boost your career in supply chain, I do have a new free masterclass. And I'm going to share with you the best strategies, insights, and examples to become a supply chain expert and a leader. So you can check below this video. You have all the details. And just for your information, we also offer a free masterclass on the most strategic topics in supply chain and operations, talking about inventory management, how to reduce stock costs and overstock, how to generate more accurate forecasts with forecasting and the expert from Amazon, how, what are the best KPIs and dashboards to track your performance, how to automate everything on Excel, how to implement an efficient and collaborative SNP process. So if you are curious, you can check below this video. And if you don't know what are the most important skills for you, uh, you can uh, already do a free skills assessment with us. Uh, you have a link below and we're going to tell you uh, what is your score, what are your best skills and the one you should improve uh, to become an expert and leader. So thank you for watching. Let us know if you have any questions and comments. Subscribe and I see you very soon.